All right, guys, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4321, Before the Fire. Christ's purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. It's so easy to see once you know the truth and once the truth has, has been shown to you and once you've been introduced to the truth and once you open that door and you say explore it yourself, you'll come to the most obvious reality in the world that you're a slave, you're in a host body, and you got carried away captive into something that is just beyond almost our, all of our brains. It's so, it's so overwhelming to see the whole thing. It, it's just really overwhelming. Last night, I was so pissed, guys. I spend so much time working on stuff, and I've, I've come to figure out how some of these uh, anomalies are happening. I'm not going to discuss them, obviously, but I figured them out. Anyway, so I should be able to get this stuff up. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys. Now, let, let me ask you a question. Would you guys believe me if I told you I can show you right now that the angel of the bottomless pit has announced in front of the world in front of the world that he has taken control of the entire earth and that he's taken over the host body system he's currently in the process and that he is emphatically saying it's mine do you think i i have do you think i could do that for you right now let me show you what the lord showed me i want to thank paul a friend of mine he sent me this video i know a lot of y'all have probably seen some of it but i guarantee you you haven't seen it from the perspective that the Lord God lets me see it from. Um, they have a language. The serpent race has a language. They communicate openly right in front of you all the time. It's everywhere. And they know that you're asleep and that you're in a trance and that you don't even see it. It is exactly like the scene in the movie uh, They Live, where the guy's in the grocery store and one guy you can tell is... You know, his face looks like uh, death, but you can, he's, he's one of the serpent race guys, and his buddy's like, I don't understand. I got passed over for promotion again. What's going on? And he's like, don't worry about it, man. He's like, yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. So-and-so got the promotion instead of me because they take care of their own in this world. So, you know, the Bible says anyone who loves the world or the things of this world has not the love of God in them. And Paul said, you think the scriptures speak in vain when they say whoever loves the world or the things of the world has not the love of Christ in them? Because when you see the world and you realize, my God, this is this evil, satanic prison that we're in. How could you possibly love the world once you get inverted, converted, and you see the truth of everything? It's, it's impossible. Um, here you go. Huck. I was looking for my, I have a dark blue Huck shirt. And I was wondering where the heck it was. <laughs> I found it. My buddy's got it. All right. So y'all ready? Y'all ready to freak out? You do you want to freak out? I want to show you so badly. Let me get this thing ready. I'm going to, this, this other setup, what I'm doing over here is going to be used to go to Odyssey and the other platforms. I cannot show you on this platform what I want to show you. You need to see. So let me show you what I'm doing for you guys so you understand. So when I do a video, it's like this, watch this. Right here in the in the comment section, right here, uh, or right here in the description box. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, it, they didn't they didn't let it go in right here. Go check this one out. So what I'll do is uh, one of me, me or one of the guys will post right here the latest video on odyssey so all you have to do is go to it'll say pinned by corey barbie and you just go up here and you click on that and it will take you to the video that you need to go see i'll make sure it's there for you the times the times here remember i showed you guys that really crazy day where i the lord told me to look up and i looked up and i'm like that's crazy the sun was was an eye the, the clouds had coalesced just like uh, in uh, at the ark when the Lord told me to reveal that our eye went to a star. The clouds had coalesced the other day, and the Lord told me, look up, and I was like, wow, it's an, it's an eye. 
It's making a rainbow around the perimeter of it. And I was like, that's crazy. And it was an X, but it was just about closed like that. And I thought that's so crazy because the other one in Beat City literally made the, the V for Vengeance, like my parachute logo that the Lord told me to make. So anyway, when I looked up and I saw that, I was like, that's so crazy. And then I heard the Lord say, look up again. And I looked up. And that X was all closed up and it made a giant serpent eye in the sky and it was a rainbow. It was just mind boggling, guys. That very same day, I had Dave changing the letter O on the One World Freedom Tower to a serpent eye. That very same day, I at three in the morning, I decide I'm going to watch Game of Thrones season seven recap. What? <laughs> it's so crazy. I don't watch stuff like that. And just at three in the morning while I'm waiting for videos to render and stuff, I thought, I'll just, you know, check this out, something to do uh, while the videos uh, were getting prepped to, for loading up. And so I start watching this Game of Thrones thing, and oddly enough, this dragon that gets shot down by the dead, you know, the army of the dead has risen, shoots down this dragon, and then the head dead guy walks up to the dragon that he just shot down, and the dragon's eye opens up representing that death has opened its eye. <clears throat> and I hear the, the Lord tell me, Jonathan, the dragon is taking its power, giving its power to the beast, which is the whole system, by the way. That's why the guy in the slave collar in the Vatican, the slave collar is a beast. Excuse me, guys. Got a little <clears throat> feather in my throat. So let me start with this real quick. Did you guys know that Prince Charles, did you know that Prince Charles and Vlad the Impaler, um, and which is Brad, which is really Dracula, are actually related? The Prince of Wales is considered to be the great grandson 16 times removed from Vlad the Impaler. By the way, my sunglass company was named Vlad Eyewear. Come out of the darkness and the light with vampire sunglasses, but it was Vlad Eyewear. Named after Vlad the Impaler before I got saved. That's the name of my sunglass company. The one that I was in that 300 million plus lawsuit over. Yeah, I wonder what the odds are. <laughs> so just watch this. Ready? So Prince Charles actually lives in, in Dracula's castle. He bought it. He lives in it. So Dracula's castle belongs to Prince Charles. Just go look it up on the web. Okay, so they're related. He's actually 16 uh, times uh, great-grandson of Vlad the Impeller, which is Vlad Dracula. Okay, so let me show you guys an opening scene from uh, the 2022 Commonwealth Games. Here you go. Y'all ready? And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. Okay, I'm going to pause it there for just a minute. Okay, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So just hold tight. Okay, so I told you that I would be able to show you that Satan has openly declared he is in possession of the whole earth right now. I've been telling you this. I, I've been showing you guys over and over again. Now, you ready? Y'all remember how I showed you in movies just like uh, iRobot? 
Will Smith, detect, Detective Spooner. His badge number was 4084. I showed you how the Lord taught me to read their language. 4084 means I apprehend, catch, and arrest. And he's a detective. Who do you think picked his badge number? Do you think some guys got together and said, hey, let's make his badge number mean I apprehend, catch, and arrest from the Bible? No, the one, the puppet master running them. Same as the one that put the images on the U.S. currency. So watch, ready? Here you go. Abaddon means place of destruction. It's uh, Strong's, let's see, from Strong's 11, Angel of the Abyss, Abaddon. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here's the opening ceremony. I'm sorry. Here's the opening ceremony. There's Prince Charles that lives in Dracula's castle. He's a descendant of Vlad Dracul, Vlad Tepish. E B Y. E B Y. E is five. B is two. Y is twenty-five. E B Y. Seven seven six. See it? E B Y seven seven six J. All right, let's go look at that. Up. Let's go look that up in the Bible. E and, e and B is 52. Y is the 25th letter of the alphabet. So Y is the 25th letter of the alphabet. So E is 5, B is 2, Y is 25. So here's the first part of the license plate. Definition, to begin, to be ready at hand. I begin, I am, I exist, I am in possession. And here's the breakdown of the word. It says, properly already have been in possession of what exists, especially what pre-exists, already under one's discretion, under one's possession. To begin, be ready at hand, own, possess, possession. So I begin, I am ready, I exist, I am in possession of, that's 5225. What's the next letter? What's the next set of letters or numbers on the car? 776. And then they separated it with a J. So 776 is Eretz, the earth. I am, I, am possess, I am in possession of the earth. Common countries, countries in their lands, countries, uh, dust, earth, earth, the ground, earth, floor, land, lands that have lands. Um, other peace, plateau, region, territories. I am in possession of the earth. I begin, I am in possession. I, I am in possession I'm properly already to be in possession of what exists, what pre-existed under one's discretion. I begin possession of the earth, the land. And then what was the last... J, what, J is the 10th letter of the alphabet. Abano, destruction. Place of destruction, Abaddon. Right in your face. Then they roll out a giant bull like the Beast of Revelation. It's so insane. I'm going to let you watch these English guys. I was like... <laughs> it's just like they're not doing a, the 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 Bohemian Grove at night in in the woods in the dark anymore. They've taken over. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, yeah. See, I can't even I can't even speak freely to y'all and tell y'all what's going on. So y'all need to go to the other platforms, and I'll put the link out there for you because I'm gonna crack it open tonight. Last night, I, I, I got some of it out. If you guys went and watched the link, what I was getting into, and then <clears throat> just gone. The whole thing I was working on just disappeared right off the screen. Impossible. So now, let's just watch on this, on this note. Let's just watch that ceremony. But y'all remember the hendecagram? Y'all know what the hendecagram is, right? the 11-pointed star that represents the host body. You can go to the show notes. It's a super awesome 
show notes okay you can go see the hindectogram and you can see the man of two faces representing the twin female system that's owned by satan and here we go here it is ready so here's the hindectogram <laughs> it's called a kelepot which houses the essence of holiness though so this is a geometric representation of the host body it's an 11 pointed star one two three four five i'm sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there's 11 points on this star it's called a kelepot here is baphomet hovering above the kelepot the host body sucking up the energy from the dead center which was made from a star one of god's angels here is the statue of liberty on top of the same geometric design representing the liberty that the angels took with the daughters of men got their host bodies but now satan has half you know half the half the space in their body but the host body is owned by the angel of the bottomless pit the, he's like the deputy he owns it so the only way to get you back jesus comes in and buys you back on a cross if this isn't just the greatest love story in the world i don't know what is this is the greatest story of true love that you could even imagine so our father that that produced us as as stars we're given free will angels we're the stars of god we're the princes of god chose to come in here we exercise our free will we got trapped in a host body where the angel of the bottomless pit holds on to you your whole life through one eye one ear and then if you don't get converted inverted before you die you go to the pit and you're assimilated as a locust from the pit guys okay now watch watch this so y'all know who gordon ramsay is right let me show you that complete loser you know he owns a place called hell's kitchen right there's gordon ramsay let me just expand that for you okay let me see this, this seems kind of sliding all over there you go gordon ramsay hell's kitchen okay you think do you think he's a satanist it's a yes or no okay now okay so gordon ramsay is at the is at the the games that i just showed you and let me show you a little video of his from the games and i'll give you all these links to go to you can go watch all these links let me show you his video. all right remember it's all about the serpent race eating the sheep i've shown it to you so many times watch here we go I, I just mean I first of all forgive me if I said that in any way that you know I'm not coming at y'all I'm just like I've shown it to the world so many times I want everybody to understand this because if you don't understand this you're in big trouble if you don't know the truth if you haven't been converted inverted into the two the good you and the bad you you haven't been made one guys you're in so much trouble right now it's crazy and i don't want anyone to go through it even my worst enemies i don't want them to there you go you ready watch gordon ramsay now remember 11 represents the host body that the sheep got trapped in watch this Yummy yum 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 yummy yum 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 Which one's going in the oven first? You Mmm Oven time Yum 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 yum. Yummy yum 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 yum. Which one's going in the oven first? You. Mmm. Oven time. Okay, do y'all know what y'all know what yum yum means? Did y'all have y'all ever seen the video with Justin Bieber called My Yummy Yum? Yeah, you know why they do that? Yum yum is cannibal. Here it is, right here, ready? 
Yum yum means cannibal. Here it is. The Turkish word for cannibal is yum yum pronounced yum yum. There it is. How crazy that they feed their children, you know, us as little babies going here, yum yum. See, look, yum yum. Do you know how sick and evil and twisted that is? Like Nancy Pelosi, Gordon Ramsay, yum yum. Who's going in the oven first? Because they know that we trapped ourselves in their cannibalistic system. That's why the first kids were named Cain and Abel. That's why it's a twin system. It consumes itself. The twin self-consume. Is everything I've told you? The, he's at the he is at the um, the games, the opening ceremony with Prince Charles at the 2020, 2022 Birmingham Games. Why don't you go watch the stupidest video you've ever seen right here with Justin Bieber? And you can go watch it. I put it. I put it as a link in here. And uh, Justin Bieber is. Uh, he's got a video called "My Yummy Yum," and he, uh, that's all he says during the video. When I say that's all he says, it's just over and over again. Yum yum, my yummy yum yum yum, whatever. Because they know it's a cannibalistic system. They're the serpent race, and they are feeding off that energy. Isn't that just insane? Here you go. Okay, so the summoning, 72 nations publicly worship satanic idols and televised Luciferian ritual while celebrity Gordon Ramsay creepily stalks frightened lambs. I mean, guys, you cannot make this up. It is so insane, and I encourage everyone just to go read this entire article. It is in the show notes. It is so mind-boggling. There's Gordon Ramsay at the games just like Gollum, and I'm telling you, these people are have been taken. Their minds and their spirits have been taken. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Here we go. I'm having a little trouble getting this thing to play correctly. Okay, guys, give me just a moment. All right, here we go with the malfunctioning of the computers already, and here we go. But let's go ahead and see if we can get through this opening ceremony a little bit. Cool. I want to I want to comment on something. Okay, this is really quite hysterical, really. Okay, and my my computer's not working correctly now, but hopefully y'all can still hear me. There are two guys commenting on what's going on while the actual commentators are you know, talking about the ceremony. The two guys that are commentating are absolutely hysterical. You've got to try and listen to both voices. Like you can hear the people that by the BBC that have been hired to read the script for this thing. And then listen to the two guys, the two Brits that are, you know, commenting about how satanic and evil it is. It's really quite fascinating. I think it's nine minutes long. I'm going to play this whole thing and then move on. I'm already getting my first uh, attack of equipment failure. Here we go. Revolution. That probably explains why these people are making out like they're in a horror movie and sort of like they're being tortured on their face or something. They're supposed to represent the Commonwealth Games. Is any of you looking at this thinking, oh, I fancy a game of table tennis? Oh, this is so like rounders or golf or something. No, it's weird. It's a horror movie again. Look at them all in ch Oh, here comes a guy in a Baphomet headdress dressed in red. Oh, oh, the satanic ball beast from Revelation's coming. Oh, no, where's Jenny Lemon gone? Surely she wants to get involved. Can't she ride it at the Scarlet Horror Babylon? Oh my god. Alexander Stadium. A beast. A bull. Ten meters high. I actually believe that she actually called it a beast. It's actually got weird blaspheming God writing on it as well. It's not enough that they've got the beast from Revelation coming in here. She had to actually call it a beast and then go, or a bull. Like, so it is a beast. These people are insane, folks. Now scarred by past hurts and enraged by injustice, the bull breaks. 
I honestly don't know how these shill commentators manage to keep a straight face as they try and explain to you how this has got anything to do with the Commonwealth Games. <laughs> oh, the giant satanic ball from Revelation is coming in here now and the, and the crowds are fleeing as it grows red like Satan himself. And, and this is so, 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 so indicative of the high jump, folks. This really is just all about the Commonwealth Games, as the people and the actors run scared from a giant red satanic beast of revelation. This isn't a satanic ritual, folks. This is all about hopscotch. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life and the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. Jenny Lemon, she's escaped in her balloon. Bless this guy, he's still trying to pretend like Jenny Lemon's normal. And hold the bull. The dreamers have stayed. And they're about to offer compassion to a very scared icon of this city. Oh, yeah, icon of the city. Oh, yeah, you even call it an icon. Oh, now they're going to sit there and take a shard of fallen angel. And then literally, folks, they are literally going to worship the beast from the book of Revelation. They're going to bow down to the beast. And they're going to make friends with the beast. And it's all going to be great. And all for... Do you have any idea how satanic this is what you're watching, folks? Do you have any idea? Everyone involved with this, everyone involved with this is screwed spiritually. This is absolutely horrendous, folks. This is, she literally called it the beast. She called it the beast, and they're trying to normalize this lady holding a shard of a fallen star up to the beast from the Book of Revelation with satanic scribblings all over it, words of blaspheme God, as it glows hot red, folks. They are literally trying to normalize satanic rituals right in front of your face. How can you be in the audience and not see this? How can you not see this? Certainly one of the most striking images of the show so far. Oh, go to hell, Hazel. Honestly, what is wrong with you? She's still falling over. Oh, what a beautiful satanic beast of revelation. This, this truly is fantastic. I, I absolutely love the BBC. It, it's so fun to work here. Andrew, it's such a shame we couldn't get a live human sacrifice with the beast, isn't it? That would have been truly great. Is my brother available to come out and do that with a halal knife? single action. We can see that we're all worthy of love, whoever we are, and whatever our circumstances may be. This guy is next level chill. She just came out and worshipped the beast from the Book of Revelation, and this guy's like, Well, yes, I think now we can all see that we're worthy of love from this. Oh, yes, Andrew. Oh, yes. Nothing says that we're worthy of love like a giant, satanic, red, glowing bull with blasphemies over its face stomping through an arena as everyone bows down and worships it. Oh, yeah, this is such a message of love. Yeah, they literally got a lady riding the scarlet beast. They got a scarlet lady, the whore of Babylon, riding the beast in the book of Revelation they got now. And everything's glowing red around the stadium. Folks, what, this is some serious evil here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm taking the mickey out of this thing, but you must understand. These people are lunatics. And, and they would take the whole world to hell if you let them. People that don't think this is real, this is very real. This is so easy to take the piss out of because this isn't the opening ceremony, folks, to the Commonwealth Games. Okay? They are worshipping Satan in front of you. It can, how much more obvious do you want them to make it? They could write Satan in glowing letters on the side of this beast, and it wouldn't be any that much more obvious. And Hazel would still be like, oh, Satan, uh, uh, it's the Birmingham word for fishmongers. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've lost their damn minds. Their minds have become so darkened. It's insane. Those are supposed to be pieces of stars. Ah, yes. Weeping blood from the eyes of a giant satanic iron bull. Where people raise fallen star crystals over their head in a strange ritual. Look at the people in the crowd. The people in the crowd are like, huh? I'm feeling because I like uh, high jump. You know? Oh my god! Hazel, what have you got for this one? For a moment of reflection 
and reconciliation. <laughs> Uh. I actually thought that was Jenny Lemon coming back. Bro, just buy a subscription to JennyLemon.com, would you? Okay, stop, stop bothering everyone else. Man, these BBC commentators, I would not like to see their hard drives, that's all I'm saying. And he will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. He will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone with any sort of biblical understanding or understanding of the spiritual world knows that they are referring to Lucifer, ladies and gentlemen. This is worship of fallen angels going on right in front of your face. You might not believe in the devil, but trust me, they do at the BBC. Okay? This is basically a trailer for him coming into the world. People that don't think we're living near the end times, have you seen what I'm seeing? Symbol of light and love. Bro, this angry guy is trying to convince you that a giant red satanic bull bleeding from the eyes is a symbol of love. On a, on a, on a, on a level. This guy's tapped, bro. And the now free and at peace bull of Birmingham really is the symbol for this Commonwealth Games. Oh, well, yeah, the at free satanic bull is it's absolutely the symbol of the Commonwealth Games, Andrew. Yeah, you absolutely nailed it. Yeah, yeah, you're not reading from the script. No, no, you're just, you're just shooting from the hip. Sure. He will, by the way, have a permanent place in the center of Birmingham when these games end. He will become the symbol of this theatrical and inspiring open ceremony and these games. Notice how they're referring to this bull as he. They're referring to this beast as an entity of its own. They're like, he will become the symbol that we will fall down and worship these people, man. And it's all as an angel of light. Satan will come and reveal himself to you as an angel of light. Look at this. This bull was clearly satanic. It even bled from the eyes. And now they're like, oh, it's light and peace and love and fall down and worship the bull. You see where they're leading you? All right. Well, hopefully, uh, let's see. Hope um, uh, the program's already malfunctioning on a different computer now. So here we go. I love you guys in Christ. I can't see what should normally be on my screen has disappeared now. Okay. I may have gotten it may have gotten this one working it's it's always the same stuff doesn't matter where i go what i do what computers all right guys i love you in christ okay though they open that with i am let's, let's go back and read the words from the license plate <clears throat> from the license plate it is to begin to be ready at hand the time in hand i begin i am i exist i am in possession Properly already have be in possession of what exists, especially what pre-exists. And then it said the next is 776, the earth, the land, the ground, the countries and their lands, destruction. Abra. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, yeah, so uh, the mark of the beast, <clears throat> go to the other channel, get ready. Get ready for just the craziest raptor. I'm going to show you a video that was, uh, yeah, that you can't see here. I love you in Christ. Okay, guys, go to a bear hug. Okay, I've got my sh my hook, hook, hook shirt. My bear is commandeered my other hook shirt. I love you in Christ. Uh, hook. I was told uh, at the get-together, and I, I have to find out his name. I want to say Danny, but it's just, yeah, anyway. I love you in Christ. We're going to be okay, guys. Once you know the truth, there's no fear in love. Fear, perfect love casts out all fear. And the only way to, to know love is to know the truth. And when you've been inverted and you see the whole world's a satanic trap, now you see that they know. Gordon Ramsay chasing around little sheep saying, yum, yum, which, one, which one's going in the oven first? That's sick. That's evil. These are evil people.
they're run by evil. Evil is an entity, and it's running them now. Okay. I love you in Christ. Uh, message received. The king's coming. And I'm going to blow all those shofars again on another video. And I think I'm going to have a, a nice, smooth uh, transition from shofar, to, from shofar to shofar. All right. Peace and grace, guys.